Today marks six years since 14 students and three staff members were killed at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. This morning, students at Eagle Ridge Elementary in Florida formed that large heart outside. This has become a tradition in Broward County since the shooting, with different schools participating every year. Families of school shooting victims across the U.S. are now coming together in an attempt to get through to Congress about gun control, and they're doing it using artificial intelligence and the voices of the victims. Anieli Ruiz has the story tonight. Hi, this is Uzi Garcia. Chilling phone calls from voices of the victims of mass shootings. I'm a fourth grader at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. Or at least I was. The calls began going out today to lawmakers from across the country. That's why my family recreated my voice using AI to call you today. The voice cloning technology is part of the revolution in the use of artificial intelligence and a difficult sound to hear for the victim's grieving family. When I got, you know, the his voice back, um, I, you know, I, I wept uncontrollably and I just kept listening to it over and over. But as hard as it is for Brett Cross, there should have been change after Sandy Hook. There should have been change after all of these shootings, but there's not. These families say a drastic and creative approach is necessary to spark change. This project started by the family of Joaquin Oliver, a victim of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas school shooting in Parkland, Florida. Released today on the sixth anniversary of the shooting through a website called The Shot Line. They want people to hear and share their stories. Because of their inaction, we have to do this. These families hope these haunting and personal messages may finally make a difference. You feel it. It gut punches you. An important note now about calls like these. Just last week, the FCC issued a ruling declaring the use of voice cloning technology and robocalls to be illegal. But tonight, it's unclear if these calls to lawmakers will fall under that ruling.